we have waited over a decade for this economic growth to spread beyond the primary markets. And what we're finding is that spread is rooted in a few things. Number one is workforce. You can go into many secondary markets in the country where they have great universities are creating that STEM workforce. The second thing is of affordability. So when you look at the housing affordability problems in California, in New York, in Boston, in the Northeast, where do I go get my workforce and where can they afford to live? The third thing is that golden triangle a tremendous number of secondary and tertiary markets, whether you're in Ocala, Florida, or you go up into Tennessee, into a Knoxville, further west into Alabama. Many of these towns, if you take a second look at them, affordability, workforce, and they're in that golden triangle with supply chain logistics. Iowa has a state level GDP that's growing annually at the same rate as Texas, 2.9%. What we found when we dug into it, there were over 40 universities within a 90-mile radius of the Quad Cities, creating all the kind of STEM workforce. So here's a place in the middle part of the country, a secondary tertiary market, that's creating workforce that people want. Second thing was when I dug into it, I saw this huge growth in trucking and logistics. It's become a major industry after harvest season for many of the logistics and trucking companies. The third thing we found is that many places in the Midwest have really incubated companies out of the National Center for Middle Markets, NCMM. They're incubating 3D print manufacturing companies. They're incubating all these innovative small businesses that are between $10 million to $1 billion in revenue that are growing rapidly. So here, by taking a fresh look at something that I hadn't looked at before or even been to before, we found a whole different dynamic 